Next question is from Dante Vitt. Is the at-home digital fitness space getting crowded? No. Yeah, not even close. No. No, I think it's a huge uh, opportunity, huge market. There's a If you look at the demand for fitness and the way people um, get access to fitness, and then you look at how many people have uh, access to digital fitness, mm -hmm. there's a huge discrepancy. I think the opportunity for digital fitness right now is massive. Mm -hmm. And it's massive because we have an artificial market pressure um, and a natural market pressure that is preventing people from going to gyms. The artificial one being uh, many local governments uh, are telling gyms that they have to operate at 20% capacity, 10% capacity, or in some areas, um, they can't be open um, at all. And then there's a natural uh, uh, you know, barrier right now or pressure, which is COVID. So a lot of people are afraid of working out in uh, with other people. Um, and you also have technology now, which is better than ever. It's easier now to stream workouts. It's easier now to communicate with people online. This is the the beginning of a huge potential for growth in the digital space, uh, digital fitness space. I think in five or 10 years, it may be uh, much more difficult, but right now is a great time, in my opinion. I don't even know if it's ever going to get that difficult. I don't think there is enough trainers to service all the people that are out there. I mean, you don't, you really don't need as much as you think you do. I mean, you if yeah. you got a few thousand people, three, two to three thousand people, paying you on a monthly reoccurring service that, and you're providing extreme value to that network, you can be never known. No one will ever know who you are except for those few thousand people, which is not a lot of people at all uh, in the internet e-commerce world, and be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I honestly think it's massively needed. Uh, because think about who's getting the money right now. It's these influencers yeah. that have never even had a certification or any kind of fitness background, right. but they're just looking up to them for their body and all these dumb reasons. Don't Go ahead. Yeah, Go ahead. yeah, and it's just like it's to me. It's it's really upsetting, but also that that to me speaks of a massive opportunity to get more people flooding the market to actually like pull them into mm -hmm. a right way of doing it. There's there, there is a huge. Okay. So I just did this. Uh, I shared an article on my story and I talked about this. Um, we saw this really early on. We saw bodybuilding.com and Beachbody, two leaders in the, the e-commerce space of, you know, digital fitness programming, right? That's probably two of the biggest names yeah. that are on the web. Definitely. I call them the two B's. Right. And, what we and so and they're doing right each one of those companies at this time. I don't think bodybuilding.com is doing billions anymore. At one point, I think they were up there or close to at least hundreds of millions of dollars in, in total revenue that's going through trafficking through their stuff. Uh, for sure, uh, Beachbody, they're two million or two billion plus. Uh, we saw an opportunity to do the things that they were doing better. I mean, we all we looked at it and went like, I didn't look at it like, oh my God, they're already selling. It's you know. saturated. Yeah, it's so saturated because there's only twenty billion dollars of revenue out there in the fitness space, and they're taking two of that, and so and so is taking one of that, and so there's no room for us. We looked at the people that were making all the money and said, can we provide better service? Can mm -hmm. we get, add more value than these people that are making billions of dollars? And the very quick answer by all of us was like, of course, yes. When we look at the programming, when we look at the content, the information they're providing, and we don't need to get to all you know hundred million people they have. I just we just need to convince a small percentage. We just need to convince one to two percent of those people that we have a superior product or piece of content that we can provide for them than what they were doing. So, I don't think the space is crowded at all. I think there's a huge opportunity for. I mean, you're. Some of the best guests that we have on this show that are uh, like fitness professionals, like our good friends, like the Mike Matthews, the DeFranco's, the you know Ben Pakolsky's, the Paul Checks. A lot of these 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 guys, and you know uh, Lori Christy King. Like you have a lot of these great people in fitness that that were are just making their way into the virtual world, and they the the virtual world's been dominated by these influencers for like the last decade. So if you're a good trainer. And you have good, valuable informa information, education, and experience. There's tremendous value in this space. Well, the, there's also a huge opportunity to reach an untapped uh, market. Every time a new innovation happens in fitness that reaches an untapped mar market, they explode. I remember in the '90s and early 2000s, there was a, a company called Curves 
that opened up these facilities. It was women only. It was this really non-intimidating kind of circuit style uh, workout with pneumatic equipment. And they had reached an audience that had no interest or, or were intimidated to go to gyms. And the result of that was Curves became the number one franchise and exploded all over the scene. Now, they didn't succeed, but that's for other reasons. But they took off because they were reaching a segment of the audience of the of the population that nor, that regular gyms didn't. Planet Fitness kind of is doing the same thing. They kind of are reaching people that normally wouldn't go to gyms. There's a huge percentage of people that are interested in improving their health and fitness. They don't want to go to a gym. They don't want to go to workout classes. They don't want to go to a to 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 see people in person. But they may do it at home. And now with the internet and now with the way we can stream things. They may be available. They may now be a part of uh, the market. So the opportunity right now is massive for digital fitness. It's the best opportunity I've ever seen for digital fitness. It's no, it's nowhere near uh, crowded. So if this is something you're interested in doing, uh, take advantage now. You're this is the right time.